My name is Shay Simpson. I am the Senior Information Security Analyst at the State Rent PMO. Uh, my background is 10 years worth of IT experience. Started at the help desk, worked all the way up to Director of IT Services, and then I switched over into cyber. Uh, I've got about five years, a little over five years of dedicated cybersecurity experience. Um, and then I was an Information Systems Security Officer for the U.S. Department of Transportation for a couple of years. And then I moved uh, to Department of Homeland Security and then to the U.S. Postal Service, then to Capital One, and now I am at State Rent PMO. And my career aspirations right now are to become uh, the director of the State Rent PMO because the State Rent's got a great mission um, to help protect state and local governments from cybersecurity threats. And I, I really want to be a part of that and, and help out the country. So I think being the director of the State Rent PMO is one way that I can do that. What caught your attention about the CEH program? So I already knew a lot um, about cybersecurity, about protecting systems, just because of what I needed to do in my IT career, because that's when, you know, before cybersecurity got broken out, it was just a part of IT. Um, and so after I got my first dedicated cyber job, I went out and I got my Security Plus, I got my CISSP, and then I kind of surveyed the landscape to see, you know, what was next? Uh, what did I need to know? And I, I realized that there was a gap in what I knew about IT and what was relevant to cyber in terms of technical aspects. And so I landed on the CEH as the next logical step. How did the CEH benefit your career? I do not have a technical degree. My undergraduate degree was a Bachelor of Science in Psychology from Louisiana State University. Go Tigers! Um, and I have the technical skills and the knowledge, right? But I don't have a piece of paper from an institution that says, hey, you know, this guy studied with us. Uh, and the CEH for me is that piece of paper. Um, after I got my CEH, um, it was kind of my introduction into the, the really cool world of, of hacking and, and penetration testing. And so I saw the CEH is really kind of the front door for me into a whole world and body of knowledge that I wouldn't necessarily have gotten experience with had I not gotten the certification. How has the CEH certification impacted you? So unless I'm around professional pen testers or you know, legit hackers that speak at DEF CON every year. Um, I know, I tend to know more uh, about how to exploit information technology systems and software and make them do things that they're not supposed to do, that I want them to do, uh, than, than the normal person. I, I know what the vulnerabilities are, I know what a CVSS score is, I know, you know, how to remotely execute code onto systems um, and things of that nature. So it, it really helps if you're in the security industry to know how to do that because at the end of the day, that's what you're there to protect against. What was your favorite part of the CEH program and why? So I'm not a boot camp guy, but for the CEH, I, I did take a five day boot camp and it was awesome. Uh, the teacher there, the instructor, he really knew his stuff and he not only, you know, communicated the information that we needed to know to pass the exam, he also walked us through a penetration test from beginning to end. Uh, it was awesome. We got to do, we got to do a lot of, um, you know, vulnerability discovery, identification, exploitation, post-exploitation stuff, um, SQL injection, remote code execution, uh, man in the middle. It was, it was, it was fabulous. And, uh, that was my favorite part of the whole the whole thing. The boot camp was great. I, I'd highly recommend it. Did the CEH help you give back to the community? The answer to that question is yes. I was able to mentor uh, a graduating class from a cybersecurity boot camp on what they needed to do next um, in order to get into like a cybersecurity role and what they should do in terms of bettering themselves skill-wise so that they could become better cybersecurity professionals. And I, I always, I, I tend to speak to a lot of people who want to get into the cyber industry or just starting out and help them navigate, you know, those kind of tumultuous early first years um, where you don't know nearly as much as you need to know. 